So Chrome OS has come a long way in the last few years. From hardware to software, we've seen all sorts of changes, right? We've, we've got new features and all these new things coming, and we'll link right up here all the stuff that's coming for tablets specifically in Chrome OS 70. But, you know, we've got convertibles now, we've got clamshells, we've got tablets, we've got detachables like the HP X2. And so it's, it's very diverse and there's a lot of stuff going on and Google's doing a good job of trying to really bring in a lot of the good stuff from Android to make the tablet experience better. But one of the things that's been missing, uh, especially for me when I consider, could I actually use a Chrome OS tablet uh, on a daily basis is actually the desktop portion of using one of those devices. And it, it only came to mind when I did the review of the Acer Chromebook Tab 10. So I took this device and said, well, let me try to work from it for a day. You know, I used it at home and, and for, you know, with the kids and, and that kind of stuff. And that's, that's fair, because that's kind of where this thing is aimed. But I wanted to use it a couple days at work. And so I was like, well, um, I got to get a keyboard on it. So, you know, I paired up a keyboard and paired up a mouse. But then you're still stuck in one app per page, you know, because it's still in tablet mode. And so, I went and dug around in flags and found a way to turn off tablet mode and it was janky and broken and it just wasn't a good experience and it was really difficult to use as a desktop replacement. And so I found myself kind of frustrated with that because I would love to be able to say this or something a little bit larger is kind of, it's my device, you know, and I use it at home to read books and, and consume content. But when I get to work, I can I can drop it in something and it's, it's kind of my all in one device. And as far as I could see at the time, that just wasn't the case, but it looks like along with all the other things that are coming in Chrome OS 70, this is kind of a hidden feature that I stumbled upon and it brings the desktop experience to Chrome OS tablets right out of the box without any setup. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see here, we've got the Acer Chromebook Tab 10, got the Pixelbook back here, and this thing is not plugged in. This is the uh, Logitech K780 and the Logitech uh, MX Ergo, uh, the trackball mouse. Uh, we'll throw links to both of these in the description. You use both of these on a daily basis and they're really, really awesome. Anyway, um, so they are both hooked in through their uh, USB dongle. This keyboard can actually hook up via just Bluetooth to either one of these devices if you want. It's just simpler to use this and as soon as you plug it in, you're ready to go. So anyway, you can see we're in a tablet mode here. Uh, because this is a tablet. It, it doesn't leave tablet mode unless told to do otherwise. And so with the latest uh, update to Chrome OS 68, uh, you can tell there's some, some work being done already on this, and I'll show you some of the differences between what's happening here and then in the beta channel right now uh, and how this will all kind of take place. But as soon as I plug a keyboard and mouse in now, so I sit, say I sit down and I'm hooking this into, imagine a whole dock that hooks to my display and all that kind of stuff. As soon as I plug it in, you'll see some things change immediately. So the, the shelf changed to what looks more like the desktop setting. And then I'll show you again with, I'll open up an instance of Chrome when I unhook it. We're full page, right? So there's, I'm either closed or open. There's nothing else in between. The minute I plug this in, you're gonna see the ability now to resize and move my windows around. And the same thing would happen with an extended display. The additional uh, thing that helps here is that instead of just using the interior display, if you're extending your display in tablet mode, all you can do is mirror your displays. But in desktop mode, you can actually extend the display and so have two different resolutions running. Same thing applies here, uh, at least in the dev channel. We've not tested that on the stable channel as this, this feature in general has just now started rolling out uh, to the stable channel. But one of the things you can see so far in the stable channel that they've omitted is now that I'm in desktop mode, I'm not using a Chrome OS keyboard. So I think the brightness numbers are F7, F8, somewhere in there. Um, I have to guess sometimes. Um, and so they've taken the brightness slider out of here and you'll see in a second on the pixel book that it's, they, they leave it there even when you're in desktop mode. Uh, the other thing you'll, you'll see different here is that that multitasking button that shows up, again, I'll pull this out, that button there. So in a clamshell, if you flip it around into tablet mode, you always get this button here that gives you your multitasking. Um, on the pixel book, I'll show you in just a second. It's actually going to, that's going to stay there. So you're almost seeing instead of it going straight to desktop and straight to, um, um, tablet mode, you're actually seeing it going to this sort of hybrid mode where it knows, Hey, I'm still a tablet, uh, but I can, I can actually knock out some desktop stuff too. So let's bring the pixel book up. Uh, and I'll show you some of that stuff. So this one is running, it's in the dev channel on Chrome OS 70. Um, so again, with Chrome OS 70, your home screen is your app tray. And so the minute I plug the mouse and keyboard in, oops, sorry, 
we'll flip it over that way. And now you're in desktop mode. And so I can actually do uh, windowed applications just like I normally would. Snapping works uh, just the way you'd expect it to. Everything would work just the way you would fully expect a desktop scenario to look but you still have your little multitasking button down here and it still does its job, but it almost is like it's letting you know, hey, yeah, I'm a tablet being used as a desktop right now. I'm not completely switching modes. Um, but what this is gonna give users the ability to do is have a tablet form factor like this. They can carry around and use as a tablet all they want and the minute they add any, this, these are obviously are third party keyboard and, and mouse here. You can add any keyboard mouse combination you want. And the minute you do that, it's going to automatically recognize, Hey, I've got a keyboard and mouse. This person is ready to get productive. Now we're flipping into a mode that's closer to a desktop mode. You can drag your windows around and do all the things you would normally do. And everything's going to behave the way you would expect it to on a Chromebox or a normal clamshell Chromebook. And honestly, that's, that's a huge, huge step in the right direction for Chrome OS tablets, because Chrome OS tablets in general are going to run into the issue of not being as productive as you want them to be uh, and, and run into the same problems that Android tablets have and, and iOS tablets have uh, and, and not being able to get all of the work done you want to get done. There are people that would work from iPads if you, if you gave them the chance. And there's just some things that are lacking there. Now you have something that can run Android apps and do all your consumption in tablet form factor all you want. And the minute you're ready to drop this thing into a dock, boom, you have a, a full uh, desktop OS and you're not missing anything on either side by going the tablet route. And so it's a really cool move forward uh, for Chrome OS and, and applause to the, the developers. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know this was even on the radar. I just kind of figured that was one of those things that was going to annoy me for a long time and I would just get over it. And so it's really cool to see it uh, being a part of this entire Chrome OS 70 thing. So guys, that's, that's about it. Uh, it's a cool new feature. There's so many cool new features. Uh, uh, we can't wait to the new event, to the new Google uh, devices come out, and, and we can't wait to see where, where Chrome OS is going in, in the fourth quarter of 2018 and beyond. And so if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, we'll see you.